What's going on everybody? This is American Chemical Engineer Lib Films back with a new human chemistry lesson. Today we're going to do quickly discuss the thermodynamics of the popular YouTube channel Hot for Words. Hello my dear students, welcome back to my class and your teacher Hot for Words is here back with another lesson. Posted by Russian born American etymologist Marina Orlova. Thermodynamics being a study of the conversion of heat into work. The focus in our discussion will be on the physics of the word hot and its relation to the thermodynamics of human interactions. In the sense of the hotness of the Hot for Words channel, physically and neurologically speaking, as perceived by the average viewer. In the pictorial sense, according to websites such as hotornot.com, who rate the physical attractiveness of users on a scale of 1 to 10, they say that a person with a median score of 5 has an average level of physical temperature and that someone with a hotness score of 1 is physically colder or less hot than someone with a score of 10. The word hot according to physics refers to a system that is at a higher temperature with respect to a, the body or system making the measurement. The term temperature is defined as the tendency of an object or system to spontaneously give up energy. The word hot in the hot for words scheme refers to a combination of factors including the effect of being sexually arousing or attractive in the visual sense. As well as being a new cutting edge venue of educational entertainment in the informational sense. In a third sense we can say that Marina herself is hot for the etymologies of words as she likens herself to a geek or someone dedicated to the point of being obsessed. In a fourth sense, Marina's intelligence is also hot on the logic that intelligence is sexy. The science behind the use of the term hot in each case is invariably one and the same, although the latter, i.e. the application of the word hot to human sexuality or physical stimulation or mental stimulation, is a new area of research. In simple terms, according to what's called the kinetic theory developed in the 1850s by physicist German Rudolf Clausius and Scott James Maxwell, the temperature of a system of molecules is proportional to the average velocity or kinetic energy of the molecules in the system. The higher the temperature, the higher the movement energy of the particles in the system. To demonstrate this principle, the following applet made by American chemist David Blouch shows ideal gas atoms moving about at a room temperature of 300 Kelvin or 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The plot to the right shows the distribution of speeds of the particles where we see the bulk of the particles are moving with a speed of 1500 meters per second. This is what's called the Maxwell distribution. Now let's say we remove heat from the system and cool it down to a temperature of 100 Kelvin or minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit. As we see the speed of the particles slows and the distribution shifts to the left. Now let's add heat to the system and bring its temperature to 500 Kelvin. Thus, we see the particles move faster at higher temperatures or with the addition of heat to their system. These same principles, as we will show, apply to human life or systems of humans. To give an idea of the velocities involved in each case, the particles in a sugar cube sized volume of air at room temperature, a system consisting of about 10 chemical species, mostly molecular nitrogen and molecular oxygen, move about at speeds of 1200 miles per hour. The average person, by comparison, being a larger 26 element type of animated molecule attached to substrate, move about with average speeds of 1.5 miles per hour. The logic that a human being is a type of molecule to note is a relatively new conception. The first calculation of a molecular formula for the human being was made in 2001 by American limnologists James Elser and Robert Sterner. The formula is found in their 2002 book, Ecological Stoichiometry, the history of which can be read about in the 2008 book, The Human Molecule. In the case of Marina, in the context of her Hot for Words channel, we have a system containing one human molecule, Marina, thermally connected to other systems of human molecules for millions of viewers by way of visual and auditory internet streams. The perception of her and her channel as being hot 
signifies that her system is at an elevated temperature than as compared to those systems connected. Subsequently, her system, being at a higher temperature, possesses the relative tendency to spontaneously give up energy. To explain what we mean by give up energy, by way of a simple example, the color red, often worn by Marina, has been long known to elicit sexual behaviors in males. The roots of this behavior traces to the stimulative effects of the color on males, a trait developed in the course of human evolution. In particular, when a female chimpanzee, being an older relative of humans by about 5 million years, goes into heat or estrus, her rear end turns bright pink or red. This signals to the males that she is ready to mate. This residual reactionary trait is stored in the modern human male's brain. To prove this effect scientifically for humans, this last October, American psychologists Andrew Elliott and Danielle Nista published the results of their Redditrax men's study in the journal Personality and Social Psychology, which showed, among other things, that when wearing red, a woman is more likely to score an invitation to the prom, to be viewed as being prettier, and to be treated in a more or to a more expensive outing. In terms of energy transfer, in this case, the visual color red consists of photons of light with a wavelength of about 625 nanometers. Where each photon has an energy proportional according to what's called Planck's constant to this wavelength. This energy element formula, describing the relation between energy of a photon and its frequency, an equation which founded the quantum revolution, was derived in 1900 by German physicist Max Planck, based on the laws of thermodynamics. In particular, the works of Austrian physicist Ludwig Boltzmann, who in turn built his theories on the work of Clausius. In the eyes of the recipient male, the reception of this informationally laden energy transmitted by the photon, otherwise known as the force carrier, into the electrons of the pi bonds located between the 11th and 12th carbon atoms of what are called retinal molecules located in the eye in the rod cells function to cause the generation of a nerve impulse, otherwise known as forced information, which is sent to the brain. It takes a minimum of five photons to generate a nerve impulse. In this case, the color red functions as a transfer of energy. Stimulating the male into mating behaviors, such as money spending, the amount of money spent here being a relative measure of the successfulness or productivity of the work output of the male. In the alternative sense, the stored memory of the color red worn by specific desired females over time may function to induce or drive an increase in the male's work output. Other energy transfers being more complicated, such as the etymological information that the word muscle derives from the word mouse, as discussed in Marina's February 10, 2008 video, Look at My Muscles, can be described along similar photon-electron transmission mechanisms. In short, during the broadcast of one three-minute hot for words video, differential units of heat or energy in transit pass from the hotter system to the colder system, thus warming or energizing the latter. To describe this process quantitatively according to what's called the first law of thermodynamics developed in 1850 by Clausius, Whenever one micro or differential unit of heat dq passes into a system, it will cause an amount of differential work dw to be done by the system on the surroundings. By definition, according to Clausius, whenever a body moves under the influence of a force, work is done. In our case, this work done could be as simple as the act by which a user moves his or her arm to click the subscribe button of Marina's Hot for Words channel, which is, by the way, a top 30 all-time most subscribed channel at YouTube. In equation form, according to the first law, the differential change in the internal energy of the subscriber system will equal the heat added less the work done. In this quick example, we have shown a simplified connection between the variables heat, temperature, and work in the context of human systems, connected by way of the internet. Transfers of heat or other forms of energy into or out of human systems and the work produced therefrom is what defines the subject of human thermodynamics. That's it for today's human chemistry lesson. For more information, visit eoht.info. Talk later, live.